Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obed Potato, and this is Civilization VI, Scotland the Brave. And indeed, we are doing something which may or may not be um, brave and or stupid. We're going to try and liberate good old Teddy Roosevelt. We're going to give it our best shot. I think that we're, you know, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound. We're going to give it a crack. I, um, I don't really know how likely we are to succeed but you can bet your bottom dollar that we're gonna at least give it a try actually can i get around this way uh it's unfortunate that i can't get past this way because that would provide us a second way in so to speak uh i somehow suspect that you're not going to give me open borders what would it take it's not it's not really worth that much we can still go around the side anyway um good let's get back to business you can skip a turn and you can also skip a turn in fact we'll promote you we'll promote you to sure and you can just fortify for a little bit now skip your turn and you are ready to skip your turn too. Great, let's go to the next turn. Fingers crossed we're not going to get attacked over here. If we do, that would be a little bit of an annoyance. I'm assuming Teddy Roosevelt is over here. I need to try and capture Washington, of course. That is the, uh, that's the name of the game. I'm not liking this whole situation over here. Not super thrilled by it all. Let's get some Let's get some um, spearmen in, because spearmen, uh, of course, perform very well against uh, chariots. Let's line you guys up over to here. Hmm. Move over there. Uh, I just moved into attack range. Let's move immediately back and just chill out here. Good, good, good. Chariot, uh, let's get you moved out over this way. And then we can think about our next turn. Uh, indeed, you guys can both skip your turn. In fact, you know what? No, we're going to bring you down there. And then you can skip your turn. Perfect. All right. We're going to be cutting it a little bit close. We've got 19 turns to do this. So there is a chance that we will be successful. But if not, we can just, um, just do a white piece, I do believe. I think a white piece would be satisfactory. No shame in deterrence. Having a weapon is very different from actually using it. Ye okay. Why do I care about this? Are you going to go to war with me or something, dude? I don't know. I don't like it. Um, a temple. Cool, cool, cool. And a special temple. Well, that's not really of much use to us. Bring you down there. Bring you across here. Seems to me that these guys can only go up. And once they do, we're going to... Um, we're going to we're going to jump out and scare them. No, of course not. Let's move across here. Anything arranged to attack? Nope, nothing at all. Let's move you up, move you up, move you up, and move you up. Great. This is all coming together very very nicely indeed. Uh, yep, we're gonna have to skip your turn over there. Open the civic street. What can we research? Wow, we can literally only research one thing. Okay. Cool, I'll take it. Uh, when are we going to hit the next age? I'm not super sure. But we can send an envoy. Plus two science in the capital if we get that. We've got two envoys here already. Plus two production in every city with a workshop building when producing wonders, buildings, and districts. Well, we don't have a workshop building yet, so that's pretty irrelevant for us. Same with the amphitheater nonsense. Um, culture. I would love to get more culture, but we are at war with you. Yeah, we need to make sure that we don't cut too close over there yeah i don't want to waste any wait a minute no he's the other purple guy um okay well then let's just get two extra science in our city that just seems to be a no-brainer there uh you come out here there we go perfect um quite happy for you just to fortify over there and take it easy my dude 
Uh, we can change a policy if we'd like, but that's pretty darn useless because we, of course, don't need to deal with anything, um, anything holy, actually. Are you gonna attack me? Interesting. Villainous has made peace with us. That is absolutely perfect. Um, Petra being finished. I think we originally planned to build Petra. I actually cannot recall. Um, well, this is a real annoyance for us. I was hoping that we'd at least be able to get a passage through this turn, but alas, we cannot. Um, we're also rather short on archers. I would ideally like some more uh, some more archers, but there's not much that we can really do about that, I'm afraid. Um, let's just bombard you. Just like that. Ideally, we'll be able to get right past this city. But I somehow don't think that'll be the case. Maybe we just go straight for the capital then. 17 turns. I mean... The question really is, how far can we progress? How far can we progress through? There is literally no way for me to get past these guys unless I declare war. There quite literally is not any way. Sorry, did I discover... Oh yeah, I discovered um, Kabul. Well, that's nice, I guess. Let's move you up here. You up here. Cool. Everything looks pretty good to me. Gonna move you up by one. Unfortunately, we can't see past anyway. Doesn't particularly matter. Skip your turn. You are ready to advance. I'm gonna get you across here. This is gonna be a, a pretty short campaign. We're about 15, 15 turns, 17 turns left. It's not long. It's not long at all. And these are you call your thoughtless cur is an insult to ours. You occupy one of their cities. Yeah, I know, because you lost a war. You attacked, like, you attacked me. It's like, you were stupid enough to attack me. Don't move in here. No one move in here. Please. Dear God, no one move in there. All right. That would be a stalemate. Let's move you back. And let's pelt you. And then let's move these boys in here. And then, finally, at long last. Hold on a minute. Can we... Oh, no, we can't move those chaps in there. That's an annoyance, but that's fine. We can move these guys up here. Bring in with us a battering ram. That's the way that we've got to do it. Ah. Okay. There's a mountain there. That is not very helpful for us. In fact, I would wager that it's not very helpful at all. Hmm. Not happy. Not happy one little bit. That mountain there is a sticking point. I'm gonna move in here. Fortify until healed. Yeah, that's a real bummer for us. That is a real, real, real bummer. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. I think at this point we just need to sort of really have the realization that we're not going to be able to do this. I mean, it might still be worth 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 doing it, but it's going to take me so many turns to get through. Great, we got a campus. It's going to take me a heck of a long time to get through this jungle. Like, it's just not even going to be close to being worth it. I think we just settle up with this guy. And I I really feel like I was, I was dragged into this on a little bit of a, a false pretense, you know? Anyway, let's make peace. Let's try and make peace. You're happy to accept this deal. Are you happy to give me any money? Nothing. You're only going to give me a white piece, are you? Fifteen gold for thirty turns. I fucking right. Not a chance, mate. Alright, you're happy to accept a peace deal. There we go. We've peaced. We've peaced you. We've made peace with you. 
Great. Now we... Now we play the game of trying to get our mega numbers of troops all the way back. I don't regret doing that battle, but I think that that mountain there, unfortunately, hamstrung us a little bit. Yeah, but I think that honestly, if we're going to try and get through this area, there's just, there's just too much terrain that we just cannot traverse. It really is unfortunate, but hey ho, uh, that is that is what it is. Anyway, where am I? Where am I choosing the production for? This is Aberdeen. Perfect. Uh, we got ourselves a campus. That's pretty darn good. Pretty happy with that. I want to try and get uh, as much stuff as we possibly can uh, in this campus. Splendid campus completed. Indeed, it is splendid. Made peace. Made peace. Barbarians approach. Oh joy. At least they're only warriors. However, they are going to sack a bunch of our turf. And that, to me, is deeply, deeply irritating. It looks like there is at least some more exploring to be done down there. And I guess we'll go and do it right now. Yeah. Uh, what an annoying situation. Don't pillage anything. can't find time for recreation. Or sooner or later to find time for illness. Um, Colosseum, that's kind of nice because that gives us some amenities. Um, the arena, I guess that also gives us an amenity from entertainment. It's kind of nice. Uh, that's a wonder. Um, and housing in all cities with at least two specialty districts. Nice, that's, that's lovely. Right. Move you over there. Move you here. Man, what an annoyance. That really, that really is just the worst. I, I don't, there's no, there's nowhere else that I even, oh, bloody hell. There's nowhere else that I even really want, oh, bloody hell, I just mucked up again. There's nowhere else that I even really want to explore. I've, I've pretty much explored all that I care about. But it seems that there is nowhere else for us to go. Looks like we need to, uh, to get sailing, eh? I still don't actually think that we've got sailing. Uh, defensive tactics. Now, is it defensive tactics that gives us protectorate war? I believe it's... Is it defensive tactics that gives us our special bonus? I don't actually know if that's the case. Um, build an encampment. We will actually do that. An unmet city-state has been defeated. And Roxburgh needs more housing. Right, fine. I'll deal with it in a bit. Give me a moment, video game. I need to pause and catch my breath. It looks like this lady seemingly um, just wants to just wants to balloon out and build more stuff. That's deeply, deeply irritating. But that's okay. It's fine. Our treasury is filled with gold. And Thanks. Great. Your opinion is um, very valuable. I'm not actually going to attack that dude. Can I, am I in range here? No. Nope. Can't range to attack. That's fine. You are going to move over here. You are going to move over here. You're going to move down here. Whatever. Fine. Yeah. Skip the turn on you. Oh. Bloody hell. There is just no easy way of going about doing this, is there? An emergency declared. Well, I don't know. See, I don't know what's happening with anyone. Um, we need to get on Gandhi's good books, but the, the unfortunate reality is, is that I really don't know where Gandhi is. Um, I just do not have the foggiest... I do not have the foggiest where Gandhi is. Why, as a warrior, would you attack one of the finest horsemen in, you know... In the area. I'm actually going to, again, pass you by. Because I'm going to get you to attack you next turn. Also, the great news is, is that since all of our unit upkeep, I do believe, is, um, is just a piece of gold per turn. Uh, we're actually pretty much... Our, our army's pretty much free. Um, we've got... 
two, which I think we're spending for either the building or the campus or whatever, I don't know. Um, but that's, that's pretty good. So there's no real reason to get rid of any of our military. And we can certainly go to war with this lady again. Uh, given the fact that Tbilisi is on, you know, the edge of our territory, it's, uh, it's her capital. That's quite nice. Whoa, what is that? That was their, that was a Georgian archer. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much, we're pretty much ready to go to battle again if it is required of us. Which I very much think it will be. Cool. Right. What's next? What is next? I think, honestly, probably an encampment. That's pretty necessary. I, I do imagine at some point we need to make sure that we get that. Uh, the Great Library. 17 turns for a Great Library. I'm going to say yes. Why don't we go for it? Let's absolutely bloody go for it. Let's let's do it. Let's take the opportunity to, um, to do it. I'm going to get you to fortify up. I want everyone to be properly fortified because there is going to come a time where we're going to need to declare war and it's coming it's coming soon i bet you she's going to have a little freak out about how the fact that um yeah how the fact that we're going to be together why can i not declare war on her why can i not declare war one man's magic hmm. is another man's engineering yeah there we go um, yeah, I don't know why I can't declare war on her. Is it because perhaps the time limit has not, um, has not gone on long enough? I really should get sailing. That really is just rather silly. I also need to get swordsmen. That is, that is also quite important. Um, pikemen, that's also something nice to get. There's a whole bunch of, whole bunch of stuff that we could, that we can get up here. I would very much like to do that. Let's get sailing. I really feel that we should get sailing. Sailing's the first priority. That's the second priority. And then let's beeline for you. Build three different specialty districts. We are actually going to be doing that very, very shortly indeed. Let's just get you to fortify. Let's just get you to fortify. Uh, you can just fortify as well. And we'll hop on over to the very next turn. Right. Mr. Pikeman. You're here. Will that work? Will everyone be happy now? Build her up here. I'm conscious of the fact that if he expands, if he gets, if, if Georgia gets another city up here, then I will have a real problem with that. That will be, that will be a big issue. Um, no, no, come down here, choose production. What do we want in Roxburgh? Well, there's not very much that we can make of any value. Um, I suspect that we could probably just... I mean, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the management and see what's going on. Two turns until border growth. Quite nice. If I was to purchase another tile, would any be of any value to us? I'm going to take that. And then I'm going to take that and that and we're going to produce a builder in 13 turns that's just that just makes me weep honestly we're one turn away from a science district over there so let's build a even if we get a builder it's going to take him bloody ages to get over there perhaps i just buy a builder honestly yeah i'm just going to buy a builder we just have enough money for it i'm not actually short on cash at this current moment so we're going to buy a builder and um and that's that. Let's get an aqueduct. Aqueducts are really good. A granary. Let's start with a granary. Let's start with a granary. Cool. I would love to get an aqueduct over here. In fact, you know, I'll tell you what. I'd love to get an aqueduct everywhere. Because they're just so good. They really are. They really are very, very powerful. Uh, yep, sure. Move you over here. And there we go. Just like that. We're moving on up in the world. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that... Oh, they do have iron. They do have iron in their territory. It isn't just our lands that can be improved. 
but our waters as well. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed, isn't it? Still can't declare war on you. Oh, no, I can. I can declare war on you. Cast a spelly, declare war of liberation. You do not satisfy the uh, capture the city from one of your friends. Declare formal war. It's pretty good. Have I denounced them already? Yeah, I have denounced them. Or they've denounced me. I'm going to demand 7 gold per turn. I don't know if that makes a difference in terms of getting a Casus Belly. We do have the Warmonger penalty. I don't really want to incur that, but I suspect we might, you know, might just be one of those things that we have to deal with. Alright, come across here. I mean, I'm sure that Georgia can see that I'm sniffing to try and get that. Um, I need to make sure that I that I have enough enough points. Each of your citizens ex exerts the normal amount of one loyalty pressure in your city. Uh, this pressure also affects other cities within nine tiles, but it's 10% low. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Uh, build an encampment. I plan on building an encampment. But I don't plan on doing it anytime soon. Growing a city to 10 population. Also don't really plan on doing that soon. So anything that I plan on doing soon. Building six farms. That's a maybe. I think we probably just lay down a lay down an encampment. Or uh, sorry, uh, choose choose that one. Um, aqueduct. I would love to get an aqueduct. Six housing. It is pretty good. Um, no, I'm going to hold off on it for now. I want to try and get... What do I want to try and get? Campus research grants. Hmm, interesting. Interesting indeed. Nothing Nothing here really takes my fancy, honestly. Uh, I will take... I will take a library here, but only because... Oh, actually, no. I will get a water mill. That's absolutely what I want to do. Um, the governorship, what do we want to do? Double adjacency or plus 20% industrial zone towards industrial zone buildings in the city. Not really interested in any of that nonsense, to be honest. Don't really want to appoint anyone. I'm going to promote you, I guess. Sure, I'll take that. Uh, well, actually, no, that's not really that useful. Double adjacency bonus from commercial hubs and harbors. I'm going to take that. I don't think it's the properly correct play, but... It is what it is. Let's put you on fortify. Put you on fortify. Put you on fortify, and I will go the next turn. I, I pretty much, I'm absolutely desperate to make an attack. Uh, I do want to improve this pasture. It's important to me, but not that important to me. I want to get this rice paddy set up. That is really important. Trading post created. Trading route is created a trading post in the city of Aberdeen. Great. Means that we can even select a, a new trading route. Uh, how about a negatory from me, dude? Uh, you, I mean, you declared war on a bunch of my friends and it was um, a bit of a problem. I just, I still don't understand how I was left being the only person in that coalition. Did the others just die? Is that what happened? Also, how am I gonna, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna manage to get, how am I gonna manage to get enough people together to, uh, to, to get, to, to not have a dark age? That is a little bit of a problem, actually. I don't think there's any way that I can really buy loyalty. Not as far as I'm aware. Um, this, the, I tell you what, the production in this city is actually not bad. Hmm. There is a holy site, which is quite nice. A shrine would be all right. I'm loath to give up this uh, this city. It's actually rather nice. I'm gonna go for ancient when yeah. Water mill. It's not really of any value for us because there are no wheat and or rice resources. There will be. 
within the city boundaries soon. That's not soon enough. Let's build let's build some ancient let's build some ancient walls. We'll do that. Our city is about to grow. Um the battering ram. Let's skip that turn. Let's move you over here. Move you over there. Move you in here. Move you over there. Great. I think, I tell you what, I think we've got, how long did it say that we've got? Until the next age? I honestly can't remember. I think if we attack here, and if we win the battle, then that will mean we might just secure enough loyalty loyalty points or whatever it is that we need in order to avoid a dark age. I'm, yeah. Not, not super happy with this. Not super happy with this. This is, uh, this is not great. This is, this is not fantastic. We're gonna give it our best shot, but, um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a, a tough ask. Anyway, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Over the Potato. This has been Civilization VI, Scotland the Brave. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.